Hey guys, today I'm here with Staten from House Gamers and Joseph. And Joseph actually got us some free stuff to test. So what is this? We have a night vision camera from Israel. It was actually developed for the military for special units. We have the pre-production sample, so this is not the final product, but I already tried it at the island in Croatia and it's pretty good. <laughs> So super quick specs. Price I don't know yet, it's gonna be linked down in the description. We are shooting this video prior to the release. It is 1440p and it can switch from you know, normal vision to night vision pretty seamlessly. We're gonna run multiple tests. Dayton, what are we gonna run? Well, we got the super high quality Novridge SSR15. <laughs> it's a fantastic AEG as well as the Novridge SSP18, uh, <laughs> a fantastic fully automatic pistol ready to, I think they're gonna shoot at, uh, we're gonna shoot at each other. It's gonna hurt. Yes. But it's gonna be a night vision, so it's yes. gonna be cool. If you want to see us shoot at each other and get hurt a little bit, you should definitely keep watching. Uh, we will also test the laser, how well the camera can see a red laser. And we also have tracers. Okay, so Chris will for now hold the camera because we cannot really put it on the pistol. And we have normal BBs in there and then we will immediately start with tracers so we can see the difference. I just tried to look <laughs> It kind of looks like a rangefinder, doesn't it? It looks like a rangefinder, but that's a lens. Okay, so now we have a little bit of light. No tracers. Let's see what the camera sees. Chris, are you ready? Uh, yes. I don't see anything. Let's switch off the light completely because we will come to the tracers. Maybe a little bit of full auto with the SSP-18. So Chris, you saw what the camera saw, what do you think? Visibility is perfect, you can recognize all the shapes in the room. The normal BBs are not visible, like they're probably too fast, so there's not enough uh, infrared light on it, but with the traces, obviously you can, you can see them, so. Let's put it on the SSR15 now, and let's see what we can do. So, it comes with this mount, and we can just slide it in. Just like that. Now we have the SSR15, with a tracer and tracer BBs inside. It was, uh, it was very pretty from my perspective, but the tracer is actually really reflecting the IR light. So what I would do now, I would first reload the magazine and then you can hold it so that we kind of get rid of the glow of the tracer unit. Yeah. So let's switch off the light and let's Light it up. Ready? So Chris, what do you think? This looked probably way better. Like expected, contrast was a lot better and you could see all the targets, PVs and so on. What do you guys think? Let us know down in the comments. And now we still have the laser. Now we're gonna look at the perspective from the person getting shot at, but this person is the camera basically. Um, we have a laser on there, let's see how it goes. Invisible. I did not see the laser at all, which surprises me. Uh, you mean in this or yeah. in your eyes? No, I can see my eyes, obviously. <laughs> so uh, we are not sure we can see the laser on the footage, but the BBs, they probably look cool. Yeah, they look cool. Now, we try the whole thing with a flashlight. Dayton, what's up? It looks like I'm walking in space, bro. There's like BBs everywhere. This looks awesome. I wonder if the camera can pick them up. So you can see them, but I cannot pick them up. <laughs> sure I can. I mean, <laughs> go, bro. <laughs> Have a BB. <laughs> what are you thinking? Well, number one, it looks beautiful seeing all those BBs go by. And then afterwards, the, in the ginormous mess you've made is actually quite beautiful. I'm going to be gone by the time you clean it up, but I'm really glad I got to see it. But this one does not pick up the glowing BBs. Well, maybe we need to see it on the actual footage because we only have the feed from the Wi-Fi yeah. connection, which is always quite limited. Guys, you've seen it. You've seen it. Uh, we haven't yet. Let us know in the comments how it looked like. 
and we just hit the low battery. <laughs> so it will even tell you that the battery is low, time to charge. So battery drainage seems to be really, really, really high on it. Like I said, it's a pre-production sample and mm -hmm. they advertise nine hours of operation time. Now we're gonna actually simulate what happens if one guy has the camera and the other ones are just like in the dark running into furniture and we have a lot of it. So Joseph, what's your setup right here? Well, I cannot really talk because <laughs> otherwise it's gonna fall off my off my head. So this is what Matthias behind the camera built. Um, it's kind of clumsy. Uh, <laughs> it looks great. But we can see it on the phone like wherever I aim we can kind of see that. Can we see it? So we can see it. Yeah. So this is the idea and I'm just going to shoot at people. No, 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 no. We are actually drawing. Uh, yeah. We're drawing cards. Yeah. I already have okay. it on my head, right? Yeah, I can just sure. shoot, right? I so. want to be the one shooting. Okay, you hold this thing. One of these boxes has some paper in it, okay? Pick them. And the paper one is so a shooting the one. The paper one is a shoot. Uh-oh. Yeah! No! <laughs> I'm the one shooting. Okay, the rules are the following. You have five shots only, and then you have to stop shooting because otherwise it's gonna be kind of ridiculous. <laughs> the screen that you're looking at, the phone, it's got a good second or two delay from what the camera's seeing. So while Christoph's gonna be shooting, he's gonna pull his hand up and then on the screen, his hand's gonna come up. So we have at least one second of freedom before we get harassed by his BBs. Okay, lights off. I'm not sure if I can distinguish the cameraman from Joseph. Guys are scared? Uh, yeah. no. You guys hiding? <laughs> I can see a camera light. Oh. Joseph, do you have a camera on your head? Yeah. Man, it's not that easy to actually. One shot. Did I hit you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck this one second delay, I should say. I can't see you. But I have to actually aim with the camera. Oh, five. Did yeah. I hit you? No. Is that five shots? Yeah, that was five shots. Fuck, what? <laughs> Man, you can't hit shit with the same. You don't have to aim like this actually to get down the sides. I cannot explain how pitch black it is in this room when he turns off the light. When it's off, there is nothing. You can see nothing. So, next guy. Dayton, your turn. Are you ready? I am more than ready. Okay, lights off. I'm very ready. Dun, dun, dun. This is, yeah, this is unfair. You guys are gonna die. Oh, hey, that's a <laughs> pallet. I found it. <laughs> I see tables moving. <laughs> okay, let's try and figure out how to move my hands here and... And, and, uh, oh, a little down more. Oh. <laughs> where, where are you going? Fuck! How do I close? <laughs> the leg is stuck. Fuck, I'm shit. Go on, Chris, let me alone. You know what you ask and you shall receive, Christoph. Where are you? You're gonna die. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> The game Ow! I just got hit by a freaking moving table! <laughs> no! That was my five shots I missed. I thought that was gonna be a lot easier That's than it so was. Fun, huh? It is so hard. Man, you look so dorky. He's too sick. <laughs> what? Me and my channel? Dorky? What are you talking about? I was walking like this for most of it because I couldn't keep it straight on my head. So, safety goes on with Joseph. <laughs> Pretty good shot, so... Go! You know so I have a full magazine with a full auto switch. What?! <laughs> Did I hit anyone? <laughs> I hope you are not too mad, guys. <laughs> but <clears throat> seriously, just moving with this thing, it's not easy because of the lag. Yeah. But I mean, that this is completely not what it's meant for. 
by the way, sorry for the full auto, but I kind of had to. I mean, right? it's cool that you can do that anyways, even though it's not meant for it. <laughs> so, result is um, on the head pretty useless, but can be useful for observing. But really, the use is for mounting it on the rifle and getting footage. You know what I could really see this as? If you're held up in like a building or sniping from somewhere, setting it up to watch your back in night vision, mm. that would be perfect. So if you're a Milzheimer and you want to make night gameplay footage, the Warren X might be for you. It is at a high price point, it's not really meant for airsoft, that's why it is priced, it is for the military. But now we have an option and I think it's a cool product. Thanks for watching and we see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe to Novich.com, www.novich.com, by SSP18, great gun. Sexy. Sleek. Smells a lot like green gas. <laughs> Oh.